everyone, and welcome back to Animal Cafe. My name is Isaac, and we're back playing some Tech World 2. And I've just seen a really big flipping slime outside my house. Where's this guy gone? Here he is. You're going down, mate. A blue Tinker's Construct slime. Don't stand a chance against me. There we go. Oh, okay. Maybe not. Maybe not. We got this. We got this. Yeah, look at that. Okay. So, at the end of the last episode, I think we were... What did we do last episode? We went to the nether portal, we went to the nether, we got ourselves a nice portal gun, which is flipping awesome. Um, especially early game, like, these things are really hard to make. Um, for those of you who saw my uh, Feed the Beast Caffeinated series, you'll have seen how hard it was for me to make this thing. And, oh, look at that. Look at this. I love it. I love it. Awesome. Uh, for now, I might put one down just over there by the quarry, possibly. Just so that I don't have to, like... Can I do it from here? Yeah. Just so I'd have to like wander all the way over there and I want to check up on the quarry so I could just sort of be like, yeah, how's my quarry doing? It's doing okay, I'll just put some more charcoal in this thing because we've got loads of charcoal now. Eh, we've got some more iron and some more copper and loads of clay, which is does have something to do with what we're going to be doing today. Oh, I love this. It's, I love it. <laughs> I love it. Okay, let's get on to what I want to do today, which is make myself a tinker smeltery. Now, my, um, my, my, my overall plan at the minute is to try and get some... Uh, Tesseracts going and get some power from the nether, but we don't have any ender pearls So I'm kind of just gonna do some other stuff for now and hope that we kill enough endermen in the meantime to get some ender pearls And then we can come back to it But uh, for now what I want to do is do the tinker smeltery stuff like I said So I've got materials in you the second edition and I've got mighty smelting at um, I've made these guys uh, They're really easy to make actually if you click uh, R over them It's just uh, materials in you if you put that in a crafting table you get the new one and to make this is just uh, a piece of paper and a blank pattern Which is uh, really easy to do actually it's just uh, sticks and wood so if you do happen to lose these, they're not hard to get, and then Mighty Smelting's just materials and you in uh, in a crafting table. You can you can even double it if you want, just by putting it with a book. There you go. But uh, anyway, yeah, so in order to do that, we're going to need a lot of clay, which we do have. We've got loads of clay in here from when we built this flipping building out of uh, stone bricks. We are going to need a lot of gravel. Now, do we have much gravel? Do, do, do. Actually, we'll probably have quite a bit over in our quarry, possibly. Um, did I get it? Did I say it to get rid of gravel? Possibly, maybe. Be a shame if I did. Let's have a look. Uh, no, look at this. We've got loads of gravel. And even if not, we're in a village. There's gravel everywhere. I really do. <laughs> I love these portal things. They're awesome. Right, so gravel, clay, and what else is it? Because we need to make... What we need to make is... This stuff. We need to make seared bricks, which is made from grout, which is sand, clay, and gravel. Okay, sand. We've got 32 sand in here. I think that might be enough. I might be lying to you. We might need loads more, but we've got another... Oh, no, that's limestone. Hmm. Who needs limestone? Okay, so grout is this stuff. So how much can we make? 32. That's good for me. So we need 32 of these. And if we go down to our smeltery system down here, I think I'll just put some iron in, possibly. Uh, okay, it's not it's not outputting, but that's fine. Uh, throw some grout in there, and that'll make us 64 grout. Now, how much are we actually going to need? We need... One smelter, uh, we need a smelter controller, a seared tank, some seared bricks, uh, ten more seared bricks, a faucet, and a casting table. So if I go at Tinker's Construct, it should tell me uh, what I need. Tinker's Construct, so I need a seared tank, which is eight of these. I need some, a smelter controller, which is another eight. I need a smelter controller, what was that? Oh, a drain, okay, which is another eight. Some seared bricks, which I think are four, yeah, okay. So we need at least, what well, we need, what, 18 of these, which is like loads. So we are going to need more than that, I think. So I'm going to go get some sand, guys, and, I will be, and I'm going to let this smelt up as well. And I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I've been smelting up some more of this uh, grout stuff. We've got 11 more in here. I started using this as well because the one downstairs was full. So we've got almost two stacks of this stuff now. And I think there's some more downstairs cooking up in the smeltery over here. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, look, this is almost done, actually, as well. Um, doo -doo -doo. I gotta get them ones upstairs because this one seems to be a lot faster than the uh, the regular furnace. Than this regular old poverty furnace. Let's take these. Forget this. You're being sacked. You're fired. Bye bye. Bye bye. Uh, you probably also seen I've marked out in the middle of the room using some cobblestone where I want the thing to go. Um, this is sort of like the center, and so is this. This is the exact center block of the room, and I think I'm gonna kind of build it here as just sort of like a centerpiece in this basement thing. So what we're going to need is preferably a crafting table down here. So I think I might go get that done straight away. Let's grab ourselves a crafting table. Uh, maybe some wood would be helpful, possibly. We've got a piece here. We've got a piece here. Another piece there. Uh, oh, no, we've got this. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. I'll just take these. 
get some marble board, and we're good to go. Okay, so crafting table like this, and then we can craft this, I think, straight into a crafting station. Yep, from Tinker's Construct itself, which is kind of cool. And this thing's kind of cool because it just lets you, uh, it works like a project table used to, um, kind of, I guess, because you can just sort of like leave stuff in, leave stuff in there and walk away. Like if I want to put my potatoes in there, I don't know why I'd want to, but if I wanted to, I could leave them in there, which is kind of cool. Um, or if you're like halfway through a recipe and you just forget something, you can just like, oh, leave everything in there and go get your stuff, which is kind of cool. So back to Mighty Smelting, we're going to need pretty much one of everything, almost. We need a smeltery controller, some seared tanks, seared bricks. More seared bricks, faucet uh, casting table. Okay, so at Tinkers, right. So we're going to need a seared tank, which is some seared bricks around some glass. So let's go grab ourselves some glass. Actually, how is this doing? I'm just going to throw some sand in here because I think... Oh, we're going to need some charcoal as well because it looks like our steam dynamo has finished its business. So do we have any glass just like lying about? Glass is something that I always seem to need but never seem to have. It doesn't look like we do, so it's a good thing I put some down there. Let's go check uh, underground our f uh, rubber tree farm and see if there's anything down here. This thing's probably like overflow. <laughs> Look how much flipping rubber we've got. Jesus. Okay, uh, charcoal. Yeah, we've got 27 in here, which is good. We'll put these rubber bars away. We don't even really need them at the minute. Uh, are these good? Yeah, they're fine. I'll uh, we'll probably need to do something about that chest sometime soon because um, it's getting rather full rather fast, which is uh, not the best. We probably also got some charcoal in this furnace, actually, because I left some in here. I shouldn't really walk around with a book. <laughs> Whenever I try to click on something, I just end up uh, opening said book. Let's throw this in our super secret room, this one here. Here we go. That's fine. There we go. Look at this. Beautiful. This thing should fill up with power again real quick. Yeah, good stuff, good stuff. But we've got enough to make ourselves one of these. So, kaplunk. There we go. We only really want one for now, so that's fine. We're going to need a smeltery control room thing, which is smeltery controller, one of these. Again, we only want one. I should have really emptied out my inventory. I've got a bit too much crud. So let's actually, I'm thinking about where I should put this stuff. I think I might make it two layers high if possible. So I think I might have smeltery controller, then possibly tank. Because I want two, uh, two drains is what I want. So let's find... Smeltery drain. I want two of these because I'm gonna want one for my one for the, cast, the casting table and then one for the casting basin. So let's put one here, another one here. We're gonna need two faucets if that's the case. So faucets are here. Let's take two of those. Good stuff. Let's throw those on. I want a casting table like this. I want a casting basin like this. Awesome. And then. Let's throw these down actually real quick. I'll put one here and one here. And then I think we might just need a lot of bricks. Am I missing anything? Uh, do, 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 do. I don't think I am. I think we just need a flip uh, a load of bricks now. So let's make said load of bricks. We might need some more. Oh no, we've got another stack there. We might be good to go. 16, possibly. We might not be. So let's break this cobblestone out. Try not to break anything else. Like this, then around here. Now we are going to need enough to make it too high, so we might need a bit more. Actually, no, I don't think we do. I think we've got enough to make it too high. I think we're good. I think we are good for like the first time ever. Actually, we do need to put it into the floor a little bit, so we have to break this because you do need a, a little nine by a little three by three here. I'm pretty sure they've updated it recently so that you can have them bigger than three by three. Like, uh, maybe like 5x5 five five or even bigger, I think. But um, this will be this will do for now. This will do. And to be honest, our base it's not that big that we can have like a massive smeltery in the middle of it and still have it like as a nice centerpiece. So, let's leave that there. We might well need a few more, possibly. Oh, I don't know. Looks like we're good. Looks like we're good. This thing should be like fired up. Yep. Yep. Oh, we're good to go. Awesome. Okay, so this is our smeltery. It's too high at the minute. Actually, how much? how much is this still going? Oh, this is doing glass, okay. I'll smell of the rest of this grout stuff as well, might as well. Um, and that'll get us 20 more, which will make us 5 more seared bricks. Uh, we could possibly look at adding a third layer. Eventually, we'll probably have it like, going all the way up to the roof so it can hold like loads of stuff. But for now, this will do. Uh, we are going to need some lava. That's a thing. So, what I'm thinking is a portable tank. So, let's have a look. Portable. If we have portable tanks, that is. Uh, yeah, of course we do. 
portable tanks. These things here. So we can't make the creative one, obviously it's creative mode only. But we've got a normal portable tank, which is uh, glass around copper, so we can make a ton of these. And um, we've got hardened portable tanks, which are normal ones with invar around. Then reinforced, which is hardened glass around the hardened one. And then uh, resonant ones, which we can't make, so we don't have ender pearls. But uh, if you look over there, I've got a nice waypoint for some, uh, like, like an on-surface pool of lava. So what I think I might do is make myself a portable tank or two, and then head on over there and uh, collect myself some lava. So I think I might make... This, thing, this one holds 16 buckets worth. So the hard and portable tank. So I might make this one. So we need some copper and some glass, which we've got upstairs, I'm sure. And uh, at the same time, I can sort of just like empty my inventory out and possibly eat some potatoes so that I don't die of starvation. Because that would not be good. Well, I don't think it'd be good anyway. Some people might think that, but, you know, I don't. Let's get rid of some of this crud that we've got, like these and this and all this stuff. And most of this stuff. Uh, we'll keep the invar in because we need that. We're going to need ferrous as well to make more invar. That looks good. We need copper, right? So we'll take, uh, I'll take two copper. We'll try and make two sets of these tanks if we can, so we can carry like thirty-two buckets back with us. So there we go, two portable tanks. That, this holds sixteen. This is quite good. We could always just fill up on loads of these. We are going to need an iron bucket, of course. So let's get one of those iron buckets like this. Plunk, just so we can uh, transport the lava when we're over there. And then a hardened one is just that with invar around it. Right, so we've got one invar on us. And in order to make some more invar... Oh, look, we've got loads of ferrous. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, so in order to make more invar, what I used to do was sort of like pulverize it and then uh, use the dust. But what you can actually do is use this induction smelter. And this thing will just like smelt two iron and one invar together to make us some ferrous ingots. Which is kind of cool. Look at that. Awesome. So I'm going to take some of these out because I don't want it to smell all the stuff up. Um, actually, I'll leave it like that for now. Should be more than enough. Uh, yep, there we go. Okay, so kaplunk with invar around it. Yeah, we got more than enough invar. Look at this. We can make loads of these tanks. There we go, two hardened tanks. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to head over to this pool of lava and get some of this uh, lava buckety stuff. Uh, I'll be back when I'm over there because it is quite a walk. Okay, so we've made a rather large mess of this lava lake, but just to quickly show you how this thing works, you can just grab your bucket of lava, throw it into your tank like that, and it's really easy to just do this. I've filled up most of it already, because I didn't think you wanted to see me sit here and just do this. But I think we've got enough possible. We've, filled, we've used about uh, about half the lakes. I think these are all still source blocks, yeah. So we've used about half the lakes, so we could probably get another two one of these full. Um, I should have probably mentioned beforehand, you do need some sort of crescent hammer or wrench to pick these things up after you've done. If you just break them, they'll you'll get the item back, but you won't keep the lava. So I'm going to, again, head back over to the house. Actually, you know what? Just like, I'm just going to, oh no, I can't. Never mind. I'm just going to head back over to the house, and I will see you guys there in a minute. It's Enderman time. Okay, we're going to fight this guy. I'm going to try, I'm trying to get my pickaxe out. Like that, so I can fight him with my diamond pick, because I don't want to fight him bare fist, otherwise it'll take forever. Hopefully we'll get some mender pearls from this guy. I don't want to, oh, where has he gone? Where has he gone? There he is. I really do like this height advantage we've got with the... Oh, there we go. Free ender pearl. Awesome. Did we get that one? Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll see you back at the house. If I survive. Okay, let's sleep. Sleep time. Sleep time. I don't want to get attacked by mobs. Although I can't see another enderman on the map, so I might go after that guy. Uh, no, he's gone. Okay, never mind. All right. So we got ourselves two lots of tanks, and we've got some ender pearls. Now, something else we're going to need is a fluid duct. Now, I'm not sure. Did we make any of these previously? We did. Look at that organization. I think we made these for the Acris Accumulator, so if I grab one of these, head on down here, what we could do is we can put one of these like this, and then I'm pretty sure we could probably put this underneath, although I'm not sure, actually no, I'm going to put it on top, because I don't think it comes, I don't think it, um, like, allows stuff out of the bottom, and there we go, and now all we need to do is just hit it with our wrench to turn it out, to turn it to output, and there we go, we got a nice sear tank full of lava, and all that good stuff. So how's this doing? Let's see. Can we make ourselves another layer? Could we possibly make another layer? I don't think we can. We've got five. Did we have any upstairs? Did we leave some? I think we did. We need, what, nine to uh, to make another layer? We've got another two. That's seven. I kind of want to make another layer real quick. So I'll get some of that, some of this, some of these, and some of those. Like this. Close this up. Uh, throw these away. Okay, let's see. I'm going to start smelting these up. Uh, we don't really need it just yet, but uh, 
it'd be useful. So let's throw that in there. And whilst that is doing that, where I put it, there they are. We can start making ourselves some casts. Now, if you look inside Mighty Smelting, for some reason we got another one. Maybe it was when we made the uh, smeltery or something, I'm not sure. But we got another one. And if we look through here, what we need is some of this stuff. We need some aluminium brass, which is made from three aluminium and one copper. Because that is used to make these casts. If it, I don't know if it tells you about them in here. It should do. Okay, apparently not. But in order to make, like, let's have a look. Say we wanted to make... I don't know, a lumber axe, and we needed a large plate. In order to get that out of iron, we, what we'd have to do is we would have to make um, an iron cast. I'm just going to type it in here because I can't feel, I can't find it in those books. What we need is we need an iron cast. Oh no, just a cast even. We need a cast that looks like this. We need the, we need the large plate cast. And then we need to smelt down 8 ingots worth of iron because it says over here, material cost 8. So we need to smelt down 8 ingots in this furnace, which is not hard. We've got loads of space. We've got 18 slots. So we have to smelt down 8 ingots worth put in our creeper face cast, or whatever it's called, the large plate cast, into there like this, and then use the faucet to uh, like drain the iron over it, and then we can pick up a nice iron plate, and then we can use it in our stuff upstairs to make ourselves some nice iron tools. So what the first thing we're going to have to do is make quite a few of these, these like um, casts. So what I might do is make myself, did I make myself um, a chest? I did, okay, pack chest. I'm pretty sure you can store casts in these as well. So I'm going to take this downstairs and I'm going to store it, say, here. Now, let's get ourselves some aluminium brass. So we're going to need quite a bit of aluminium and some copper. Now, <laughs> the cool thing about this um, this uh, smeltery is that it does it doubles ores. So it's kind of like the um, the pulverizer and the smelter in one. It, it doubles ours, but you have to run it on lava, I guess, so it's kind of a, a mix and match. So we needed three of these for each one of these. And every time I put one of these in, I'll get two. So let's just put a bunch of these in. Like that. So that'll get us... I'll put all of them in. That'll get us 18 aluminium. And then what's... Oh, 18's a really odd number, isn't it? For Well, for threes anyway. And I'll put five of these in. Um, So we should get a few of those. Right, how is this doing? Done. Awesome. Okay, so let's make ourselves some more. 12 should be more than enough. Like this. Along here. Like so. Oh, look at that perfect amount. And if we look in here now, oh, look at this. We've got even more space. Okay, beautiful. Okay, so we've got 18 of those. We'll get some more of these. And then do we only get one aluminium uh, brass for every one of those, or do we get four? It seems a bit harsh if we only got one. Let's have a look. Uh, aluminium brass made from three aluminium one copper. Maybe we do. Maybe we do. Maybe we just get the one. We'll find out in a second because we should get, if we get one for each three aluminium and four copper, we'll get five aluminium brass. And it, it turns out we don't. We get um, we get four for each one. So we got 20. Okay, good stuff. So I'm pretty sure we can just leak this out into here. And that was a really bad idea because all I've done now is make a blank plate, which I don't even think we can. Can we use that for anything? We can, but it's not really the um, the point. So let's go grab ourselves some of our stencil tables and stuff because there's really not much point in having them up here anymore if all of our tinker stuff's going on downstairs. So let's pick these up. It's really annoying me that one of them's jungle and the rest are fine. Gosh, I didn't know that would happen. But oh well. Oh well. Okay. All right. Let's set these up just say here maybe next to the uh, the station of workingness. So we'll throw these down here like this. All right. Now in order to get these things in the first place, what we have to do is we're going to have to make them out of cobblestone. So we are going to need quite a bit of wood to make some of the normal stencil pattern things. So like these. So let's go down underneath our rubber farm again and we should see a load of rubber wood because like loads of it's been just spilling all over the place. And we'll probably see loads of it all over the floor. We'll probably see rubber spitting out everywhere now because we've got nowhere to go. Yeah, look at this. We've now got another 64 rubber just on us. Just like why not? Uh, let's take this and this, throw the rubber in, and we've probably got, yeah, look at all this stuff. Look at all this wood. Good stuff. Yeah, we've got, lo <laughs> we've got loads of wood. Okay, we'll take all that. Uh, we'll take some out of here so it stops like spinning on the floor for a while, hopefully. Uh, that is kind of loud. I hope that's not too loud on the video. I don't think it'll be too loud. We should be fine. Okay, let's head back on in here. We're going to need to make all these into these, make some of these like that that should be more than enough and then we can just do this to make 10 of those now 10 i think should be okay for now i guess let's go into our stencil table 
throw this in. And what are some of the things we're going to need? So I want to make a few things. I want to make a sword for first because we've got a kind of crap sword in the minute. So we've got a few. We've got a few choices. We've got a broadsword, which um, right click block uh, cuts away a wide, a wide variety of damage uh, types in half, which is kind of cool. We could like that's probably a good idea actually. Uh, effective against cobwebs. I think that's true for all of them. Yeah. Uh, charge boost does 1.5 times the damage and knock back while sprinting. That's kind of cool. The rapier does 1.5 times damage while sprinting. Armor piercing ignores armor and blocking. Uh, quick strike. I might make the rapier just because it looks like it's got quite a few nice um, things. So if we say rapier, we need a sword blade, a tool rod, and a crossbar. So sword, a sword blade. Let's have a look. Is that one? Sword blade. Uh, does it say a tool rod? A tool rod and a crossbar. Yeah. Okay. So I'll just put all these in. I think. Yeah. Tool rod, and then was it this one? That's a handguard. Might have been that one. Yeah, crossbar. Awesome. Okay. And now if we go into the tool station, or part builder even, what we can do is we can throw this in here with some cobblestone, and that will get us a cobblestone uh, tool rod. We need one for that and 0.5 for that. So because we only need 0.5 for the crossbar pattern, we can actually use this stone shard to get one, which is kind of good, being uh, nice and resourceful. Put that there. Put some cobblestone in. This one takes a full piece of cobblestone, so there we go. And now, if we head on over here into this, we throw this thing down and then leak it out. What it should do is give us a nice tool rod cast. Awesome. So let's see, can we put this in here? Yeah, good stuff. All right, then let's put this in. Leak that out. Get ourselves a nice one of these, a crossbar cast. And finally, we'll get ourselves a stone sword one, like this. And awesome. Okay, let's throw that in there. Let's pick that up. And can we throw these in here? I don't know if we can, but no, we can't. Uh, let's make a cr just a little like rubbish chest real quick, because I'm fed up with my inventory full of crud. Here we go. Ugh, I don't know. I don't care. Just dump some crap away. Here we go. I'll do. Do 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 do. I keep my pot. I keep this on me. I keep a pot gun. That can stay in there. Uh, I'll keep some iron as well. Okay. All right. Now, some of the better materials in this, uh, in Tinker's Construct, are quite hard to get. So, like, the best sort of stuff is, I believe, cobalt is the best sort of material to make all your stuff out of. And in order to mine cobalt, I'm pretty sure you need alumite. You need at least alumite in, able, in order to mine cobalt. Actually, it might be, um, this might be the hardest one to, uh, the best one, because it's got cobalt and ardite. But, um, I think alumite is what, um, we need in order to mine cobalt. So if we want to do that, we're going to need five aluminium, two iron, and two obsidian. Now, do we have that much obsidian lying about? I don't think we do. Let's have a look. Oh, we've got six. Okay. So how much of this stuff are we going to need? We're going to need, if we're going to make a pickaxe out of this thing, well, first of all, we're going to need a pickaxe head, which would be a nice idea. So let's make one of those real quick. Uh, to the part builder, put that in there with some cobblestone, like this. There we go, pickaxe head. We'll throw that thing into the smeltery thing and then make one of those. Cool. Cool stuff. There we go. All right. Uh, we'll throw this in here for now. So if we want to make an Ardite or uh, Illuminite pickaxe, we need five aluminium, two iron, and two obsidian. Gets us... Oh, I don't know. I don't know how many that would get us. Let's try that. Let's try. Uh, okay. Actually, what I'm going to do first is make an ingots cast. Actually... No, I'm just going to straight up, um, what you could do is make an ingots cast and then drain it out in ingots and get loads of these, um, get loads of molten aluminium brass ingots, which I might actually do have to, have to do because, oh, stop, I don't want that. Um, no, it's fine. We made a few of these. Why not? Let's just throw them in there. It's fine. So there we go. We've got a nice block of uh, aluminium brass. Uh, we've probably still got a few left, actually. Yeah, so let's do this, actually. Let's make an ingot cast. This is probably going to be quite useful because now what we can do is we can just put the ingot cast in and then just drain out ingots of this um, molten aluminium brass, which is quite good because we can just, if we need it again, we can just smelt it back down and use it to make more casts in the future, which is nice. So let's throw all these in there. I'm just going to quickly craft this into one of them as well. Why not? And is there one more? Not maybe two more. Da -da -da -da. There we go. One more. And then we'll get rid of this molten aluminium. Actually, no, we won't because we need molten aluminium. So we'll take that. And we'll throw that in here. Awesome. Take this out as well. 
Right, so we need we need five more aluminium. So one more of these should take us to five, which is good. What do we need? We need some iron, two iron and two obsidian. Okay, so two iron like this and two obsidian like this should get us some alumite, I think it's called. Alumite, yeah. Now, I think this obsidian might take a while to smelt down. It looks like it's taking a little bit of time. Not as long as I thought it might take, though, actually. It looks like it's doing quite well. Let's move, set this up so that it actually works. Uh, is that going to work? It is, but I think I might change it to orange and turn off the yellow outputs. So now all the, all the stuff's going to go into here. So after the iron's finished, the um, ferrous should go in as well, which is kind of good. Uh, this is set up. Oh, this is a magma crucible. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. How is this doing? The five aluminium's already in there, which is nice. The iron's almost done, and the obsidian's almost done. Cool stuff, cool stuff. I'm going to go to sleep because it's dark. And then, do I need to eat stuff? Possibly. Who knows? I do, I do. I need to eat some potatoes. Why not? Good stuff. Okay. Almost there. We've got two, we've got two iron, five aluminium, and... Almost two obsidian? Gosh, it takes a while. Awesome, there we go. Okay, so we got two, oh no. Oh, we got three alumite, okay. So it looks like obsidian breaks down into, uh, so it looks like obsidian doubles as well, so we got four obsidian maybe. Uh, but it looks like we got two alumite, or three even for that, which is kind of good, okay. So we got three alumite, which is quite nice. So let's make an alumite pickaxe head. If we can, we can, awesome. Now, how much did that use? That probably should have, oh God, I don't want to. Oh, okay, we've got two alumite pickaxe heads. Damn it. Let's take this thing out. Stop hitting the faucet. Gosh. Okay, so we've got two of these things now. Um, and let's make... Um, actually, what's the... Uh, I wonder what values Alumite has. Like, I wonder how useful it is. It'll probably tell us in this one. Let's have a quick look, see. Alumite. Uh, mining speed 8. Mining level Cobalt. See, we can mine Cobalt with this stuff. Um, da -da 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 -da, full two ability, nice stuff. Handle modifier requires some altitude. Durability five fifty. Okay, so mining speed eight. Right. So what other stuff could we make some of our other stuff out of? I'm pretty sure nether axe are good. Um, the mining speed's four. The handle modifier is one point two, which is quite good. Um, hmm. mining speed eight. It looks like alumite's got a really nice mining speed. So I think. I might make ourselves an alumite pick an alumite like handle as well. Why not? I don't think we're gonna use alumite for much else. And then we can make the binding out of something else. Just something else. <laughs> we can make it out of obsidian, obsidian actually if we want to. What do we need for a thingamajig? Say we wanted a pickaxe, we need a cross thing. Okay, let's make one of those real quick. We've got a few part things left, possibly. No? Where did I put all those? We should do. We we'll probably have one upstairs because I'm pretty sure we've made a, a pickaxe before. Do do do. We got the rod. We've got that stuff. We got all that stuff. And there it is. Tool binding. Awesome. So let's. Oh, we're not gonna be able to do it, are we? Oh, you know. Okay, never mind. Let's just make it out of say. Could we make it out of obsidian in here? Possibly. Part builder. Let's say we want to make. An obsidian one of these. Oh, we can. Awesome. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. So let's say we want to make the pickaxe. We need this thing, this thing, and this thing. Gets us a pickaxe with reinforce on, which is nice. Okay. How fast does this mine? Pretty fast. Pretty fast. I like it. Okay. I am going to go head off into the nether and see about finding some cobalt. Because I want to make a load of cobalt tools. Because cobalt tools are flipping awesome. But uh, I think what I'm going to do is wrap up this episode here, guys, because it's been going on for quite a while now. And um, I'm going to go look in the nether for some cobalt. And if I do get some, I'll show you in the beginning of the next episode. And then we can get on with making some cool cobalty tools and stuff. So thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye!